If you've got Hawaiian rolls, I've got the perfect recipes for you. You can make these for parties, lunch, or even a little sweet treat for breakfast. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie, and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm sharing three delicious recipes using Hawaiian rolls. Now let's go ahead and get started. These Monte Cristo sliders turned out to be one of the best slider recipes I have ever made. And I just had to show you Lainey, cause you may see a shadow in a couple of these clips from her hands and feet playing over there on the side. I'm starting out with a package of Hawaiian sweet rolls and you can go ahead and cut those in half horizontally. If you get the regular 12 pack of the Hawaiian rolls, they may fit in a casserole dish, a nine by 13, but I grabbed these at Sam's and it was a 16 count. They were a little snug in that casserole dish. So I put them in this pan here. I set that top to the side. Now to the bottom half, I'm adding on a very thin layer of Duke's mayonnaise. After you get that all covered, we're going over it with a layer of provolone cheese. Most of the recipes like this call for Swiss cheese, but we just love provolone. So either one would work just fine. There was 12 sauces in there. So right now I only added six. Next, I'm adding about a half a pound of deli sliced ham. Oh, I see that shadow up there at the top right. <laughs> She's a ball of fire, y'all. Okay, I'm also adding about a half a pound of deli sliced turkey. If you want, you can do all ham or all turkey or do like me and do a combination. Now you can go ahead and add on six more slices of cheese. Now this next step is what takes these sliders over the top. Here's the top half of the rolls. I'm gonna brush on a very thin layer of strawberry jam. You could probably get away with just spreading it on top of that cheese, but I thought it would be easier to just flip the top of the rolls over and spread it straight onto that bread. You could also use raspberry jam. Now I'm sitting here thinking of all the other flavors I can try. I wonder what orange marmalade would taste like. Do they make a pineapple jam? <laughs> that would probably be really good and it would go perfect with the ham. And you can use your own judgment as to how much you use here. I probably went a tad bit overboard, but we like things a little on the sweet side. So just as long as you keep it a little on the thinner side, that way it don't run all down onto the bottom of the pan. I pushed those to the side so I could make up a quick topping for these. In a small bowl, I have a couple tablespoons of melted butter and I also added in one beaten egg. Give this a quick little whisk, then we're gonna brush this mixture on the top of those sliders. And if you're new here, I post easy recipes like this all the time. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button that way you get notified of all my future videos. I probably shouldn't have covered these with full, but I did. Or I'll say, I should have sprayed the underside of that full with some nonstick spray. You're gonna bake these at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. You just really wanna give that cheese a chance to get good and melted. I let them bake for about 15 minutes and then I decided to take the full off. And y'all, I thought this was gonna be a complete disaster. But before I went too far, I switched to the other side and it turned out to be not so bad. And you'll be able to see over there on the corner where I started to pull the tops of the rolls off. And I had them on the sheet pan just in case that jam leaked out. I put them back in the oven for just a few minutes just to make sure that egg and butter mixture on top was completely set. And I guess you could skip this last step, but I don't really recommend it. I used about a tablespoon of powdered sugar and I just dusted it evenly over the top. I have to tell y'all this, while I was making these, my husband was like, what in the world are you doing? With the jam and the powdered sugar, I guess he just didn't know how these would turn out. But let me tell you, he went crazy over them. 
you just gotta try these TikTok cinnamon roll Hawaiian rolls. In a small bowl, you should have a half a cup of softened butter. But I left mine in the microwave way too long and completely melted it. You're also going to add one third cup of brown sugar and about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Then whisk that until it's well combined. You can bake these in a 9 by 13, but I have an 11 by 7, so I'm just going to use that. And you do want to make sure to either grease it or spray it with some nonstick spray. I cut those rolls in half horizontally, and now I'm just removing the top and setting that to the side. And now you're going to spread on, because that's supposed to be softened butter there. So spread on half of that butter sugar mixture. Now you can go ahead and put that top half back on and cover it with the other half of that mixture. Just make sure you get it all spread out. You want those rolls completely covered. And one of y'all told me the other day that your husband thinks that you can never have too much butter. Well, you know what? I am right there with him. Now you're going to bake these at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just making up a little cream cheese icing here. I have two tablespoons of melted butter. To that, I added two ounces of softened cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, and a good teaspoon of vanilla. Now give that a really good mix. And if you need to thin that out a little bit, you can add you in a tablespoon or two of milk. Now here they are out of the oven, and they got a little golden brown, but that's just how we want them. I did try to wait a little bit to let these cool off. That way the icing wouldn't completely melt, but everybody was ready to try them, so I went ahead and added that on. And while I'm thinking about it, if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And they really don't have to be perfect. Mine don't look the best, but they are absolutely delicious. They were pretty fun to make too. And I just feel like you can never go wrong with cinnamon rolls. By the way, I did a video last week on creative ways to use cinnamon rolls. I'll have that linked in the description. These Hawaiian roll meatball sliders would make the best appetizer. I'm using a sheet pan for these. You'll see why in a minute here. I've got my package of Hawaiian rolls. And we're going to do something a little different with these. I cut them in half horizontally. Now you're going to place both of them cut side up. Then I pop these in the oven on broil for just a minute or two just to get them golden brown. That did not take long at all. Now I'm going to set them to the side so I can make up a cream cheese spread to go in the middle. In my bowl, I added four ounces of softened cream cheese. I also added one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and about a half of a teaspoon of the Kinder's garlic and herb seasoning. If you don't have this though, that's okay. You can just add in a little garlic powder. I just gave that a really quick mix. You're just really mixing in the seasonings. Now you can go ahead and grab those rolls and I'm gonna get that top half out of the way, then slide the bottom over to the middle. Now you're going to cover that bottom half with that cream cheese mixture. And now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I should have added in some Parmesan cheese. I bet that would have been really good. And just spread that out all the way to the edges. You're going to need about a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese total. I was a little short, so I had to use some cheddar also. And I just went ahead and used the cheddar first because I'm going to cover it up. That way I could put the mozzarella on top. So just pretend that this is mozzarella here. I ended up using about a cup. Now one more thing before we put the top on. I spooned on about a half a cup of marinara sauce. But if you have spaghetti sauce, you can use that too. Make sure you don't put too much though. You don't want them to be soggy, but just a good half a cup will do. 
then go ahead and put that top on. And the recipe says to use a one inch round cutter to cut a hole in the top of each roll and then discard the bread round. But I don't like wasting the bread and I'm not sure what I would do with a bunch of bread rounds as the recipe called them. So I just poke a little hole in the top of each of those rolls. And it does help to kind of stretch it out a little bit just to make room for that meatball. I'm just using the frozen home style meatballs, but feel free to make your own. You're gonna need 16 meatballs or however many rolls you have. You may only need 12 though, cause most of the Hawaiian rolls come in 12 count packages. Just make sure your meatballs are thawed out and I tossed them in a half a cup of marinara sauce. Then you're just gonna place one meatball in the top of each roll. And you may have to wiggle them around a little bit just to get them down in there. And now I'm gonna make a butter mixture to spread over the top. I've got two tablespoons of melted butter. I added in half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a little Kinder's garlic and herb seasoning, and then I got to thinking this would be really good with some minced garlic. So I added in a little bit of that. And just spread that on and make sure all that bread gets covered in that butter. Now you're gonna cover these with foil and let them bake at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. And y'all, that timer was just a beeping at me and it went in one ear and out the other. And guess what? I burnt these. <laughs> it was terrible, I was so sad. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but and they were still good. They were just a little more golden brown than normal, but it happens. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna do to these is cover them with about a half of a cup of mozzarella cheese. I had to sprinkle on a little parsley just for color. Then these are going back into the oven for only about five more minutes, just until that cheese on top is melted. And my cheese wasn't completely melted, but I didn't want them to get any browner than they already were. But they still turned out so good. These are perfect to make for game day or for a holiday party, or I wouldn't even mind having them for supper. Just make sure you don't over bake them like I did. Oh, and if you're new here, I always have the recipes typed out or linked in my description box below. And if you're not a fan of the frozen meatballs, you can use the homemade, that'll be just fine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more easy recipes and I will see you in the next one. What are you doing? Oh dear, oh dear, she found the microphone. I thought you would never notice. She noticed, I noticed, I noticed. Mommy, I have to have it, I have to have it. Oh. I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> what is it? Am I gonna have to get you a toy with a little flashing blue light? Huh? You gonna say hey? Are you gonna tell him hey? Say hey, but right now I want the microphone. I want it open. Uh. <laughs>